There's so many um, important tips to, to think about for our heart patients when we're going outside in cold weather and if you still want to maintain a healthy lifestyle. I think it's important to recognize um, that you want to take breaks. You don't want to just go out there and shovel your entire driveway all at once. You want to make sure that you're mindful of symptoms, um, take uh, numerous breaks rather than shovel the entire driveway to avoid symptoms of chest pain or shortness of breath. You want to stay hydrated. Make sure that you're drinking plenty of fluids while you're either exercising, walking in that heavy, wet snow, um, and dressing appropriately is incredibly important. A lot of us will just put on that cotton t-shirt um, when we're going out in the snow. Remember that we get wet and damp and sweaty. That causes a lot of cold, wet water sticking to our body, which causes us to get further cold um, and causes and creates that hypothermic environment. So you want to put on those sports performance kind of uh, t-shirts to wick away that damp sweat. Then put on a layer of fleece or that nice warm sweater rather than that cotton t-shirt that may kind of create that sticky wet um, clothing environment. Next, I think it is incredibly important to recognize symptoms. I think a lot of us are familiar with chest pain or shortness of breath, those kind of alarm bells that obviously tell us, am I having a heart attack? But think about a lot of atypical symptoms. Is it dizziness, nausea, lightheadedness? Recognize not only typical but atypical symptoms and then reporting those symptoms to your doctor or go to the emergency department rather than sit on those symptoms that may be a heart attack that you're sitting on. So again, immediately going to the emergency department or reporting those symptoms to your doctor is so crucial. Timing is crucial for heart disease and heart attack warning signs. I can't underscore that especially during those, uh, during these cold winter months.